Every. Never gets old. Vince Carter's back on the show. Uh, I almost feel like we already had assumed it. So last month when we learned that it's official, that you're going into the Hall of Fame, I was like, yeah, duh. But it wasn't official until it was. So how do you find right. out? Is there a knock? Is there a tweet? What happens? Uh, yeah, it's never official, Beetle, until it's official for <laughs> sure. Like, like, I hear people saying all the time, like, oh, it's a guarantee. You know, you guys said it last night. I was like, nah. Nah, until I get that phone call, it, 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 that's when it's real. And you know, so it, it, <laughs> the phone call came on April Fool's Day. What? And yeah, it, bad timing. How about this? So, so uh, they said, yeah, you, you know, you'll get a call regardless. Either way, you know, they're going to call to show their respects whether you made it or not. So, phone call comes. It was that number that you don't have, you know, on your phone. So it's like, uh, hello. Now, <laughs> mind you, let me say, let me uh, backstory. I had just looked on uh, Instagram and it had a April Fool joke that Vince Carter will be getting his jersey retired at uh, the last game of the season for the Raptors. Uh oh. Clearly, I know that's not true, <laughs> but it was an April Fool's thing, right? Yeah. So I just I just seen that. Then this phone call happened. So I get a phone call. Hi, this is such and such such, uh, with the with the board. You know, blah blah blah. And then they go and they put Mr. Colangelo on, and then he's you know he's going to his spiel and he said you know. Welcome to the Hall of Fame, blah, blah, blah. And it took everything for me not to say, are you sure? <laughs> because, <laughs> because it, yeah, like, like, is this really you? You know, it sounds like you, but is this really you? You know, AI is a, is a beast right now. So, and I don't mean Alan Iverson. So <laughs> I, I, it took me everything to say, are you sure? Not to say, excuse me, are you sure? Oh, no. And once it kind of settled in, it was like, it was, it was amazing. And it's funny to hear the story once we did the official announcement in Phoenix uh, uh, during the tur tournament, hearing everybody else's story, they all said the same thing. They wasn't sure if it was real because of the day. So they're going to have to change That's, the day of yeah. that phone call. Now I'm That's pissed at myself. Planned. Now I'm pissed at myself for not prank calling you and doing this before. They <laughs> if I would have known, we could all mess with it. Like, yeah, that does yeah, seem yeah, poorly yeah, yeah. played. And it's not yeah. even FaceTime. It's just, a, it's just a call. It was a phone call. So Correct. No... Yeah, that's sketchy these days. That's so sketchy. Yeah. That's a catfish waiting to happen. I don't, yeah. I don't really Correct. like that for you. And a couple of people said they didn't answer the phone. Uh, and they missed it in hearing the message and like, nah. And they didn't call back till they got oh the email God. saying, you might want to answer that phone call. That's hilarious. So, yeah. I mean, how could you not think? These are all very logical thoughts to have. Um, so the speech writing part, I know I joke about it, but are you getting help? Are you doing it yourself? Are you going scorched to earth? Are you going to cry? Like, I got, got a, a lot ghost of writer. I, I, it, He's got a ghost writer. Like, I need, I need I to heard, know heard, everything. He's got to quit. No, chill, chill. Uh, no ghost writing. I'm, I'm, it's gonna definitely, uh, I mean, come from the heart. It's a lot of people. It's it's mind boggling uh, for me, and oh, it's gonna be emotional. I already know. I mean, I've said it like at, since retirement, gotten a little softer, and a little more emotional. Uh, <laughs> I think because of basketball, you know, it 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 brings a different inner beast in you or out of you, and you know that's kind of left a little bit. So now it's like more emotional. So everything, <laughs> my my cousin got. Got married a couple of weeks ago, and bro, I was emotional, and I was just there and happy for it. And I was like, "What is going on?" So, I had a conversation with T Mac about it, and we were just talking, and and he was, you know, and he's like, "Bro, I was so, you know, nervous." And he talked about the speech writing and and leading up to it. So that is nerve wracking, and I've thought about it every day. What angle? How I'm gonna go about it? I think I'm gonna kind of, I'm not gonna go rogue, but I'm gonna kind of. <laughs> go off on my own thing. I want to have just like some, my baselines covered and then go from there because I want it to be to come from me. So that's why I didn't want yeah. to get any help. Yeah, you can give me some direction, but I want to do it myself. BC, I'll remember it that way. One thing you have to do is just wear a big old baggy ass suit. Just wear your, yes. wear, wear your draft day suit and do a throwback. <laughs> We it's need funny that. you said that. Uh, I thought about this yesterday. I was like, I wonder where my draft suit is because I would like okay. to wear that and pay homage. Maybe oh, that not would be that classic. Day, no, but that it. would be something for the day before. Like, That'd yeah, be we awesome. pay homage it to probably this is where still it don't fit. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't it's fit. Gonna fit. It's not even professor. <laughs> no, it won't fit. Now it's the wide leg, bro. It Wait, won't fit. didn't Dwayne Wade have like three <laughs> costume changes during the? Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's okay, too we're much, not doing that. That's too much to think about. Things we're not doing. to think about. It's like I I need to wear. Like, like T Max said to me, he wanted to make sure he remembered 
the speech. Yes, they're going to have it there, what you wrote, but, like, you know, the nerves, everything going on. Hey, I'm trying to get them to do Q&A yeah. instead. Like, oh, that would be better. Or a teleprompter. Q &A, but a teleprompter you'll still get, or something? There is a teleprompter, a teleprompter there, but do Q&A, and you can kind of, you know, you have your emotions, but you can fit within the time limit, because they only give you, like, seven, eight minutes. But some of the guys went 12, 13, Hold on. 15, I heard. I'm so. on to you, VC, because I know exactly that little Q&A you just said, when you have to do, like, a corporate speech that you get paid to go do, it's easy and to you're get like, through. just do q and Hey, yeah. I know what you're doing. You're cheating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all man. tried to do that. Okay, we're on to Vince on that one. Do you choose who inducts you, by the way? Have you? Yes, you do choose. Um, I'm, I'm not going to reveal the, the all of the people because I'm still waiting oh. for a uh, 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 yes. So I don't want to be like, yeah, such and such is going to be there. And then we get there, they're not there. <laughs> but I can confirm T-Mac um, will be there. And he's, the one, he's one of the guys that I ask in. And he was like, hell yeah, I was waiting for you to call me. So <laughs> he, it, it seems like in his mind, he already had it in his mind that he was going to be up there. Uh, so that's one. And I think he'll help me through it. Uh, you know, we've had some conversation. And there's a, couple, there's a couple, couple others that I have in mind, but there's one for sure that I'm going to ask. So I want to wait before I, I uh, throw his name out. I love that. It'd be, it'd be awesome. awkward if you didn't, I guess. Um, you know, we just had I know, because I don't want to say I that. He's like, uh, I can't make right? it. Yeah, exactly. It's like bridesmaids and men, all that stuff. Right. Uh, Mario Chalmers was Lou, what'd just you on. Say, man? Oh yeah, Lou, what'd you say? Lou, what'd you I say? said I got a guess, but I, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. Please I'm do. leave it alone. I know. Yeah, yeah. Text us <laughs> after. Um, Jamal Jamal Murray was fined a hundred thousand dollars. We had that question earlier, and, and you know it. you were shaking your head uh, behind the scenes. Why? Do you think he should have been suspended? Be okay, because I, I just, I'm gonna say this, and I, I hear you, and I agree with what you're saying, but at the same time, we as players. If it was on the other foot, what's the first thing you're saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, he should be suspended. Because I'm, I'm just saying it was during play. If it was a, a dead ball where stuff wasn't going on, that's fine. That's fine. But, like, if somebody steps on it, God forbid, and that other player from someone from the other team gets hurt, Tim Wolves, then, then what? Then right. what do we say? Then it's a that's suspension. Then it's a suspension for sure. Right. Yeah, but, like, it's, still, it's, the, it's the same you act. You threw a heat pack yeah, yeah. on the court. I, I know you're trying to hit the ref. I get it. But it, you threw it too far. Like, it, it, you know, my, my play, like they said, oh, yeah, let him play and, you know, and go through this and take his butt kicking it regardless. But yeah. I said, at the same time, if you're suspended, you're sitting at home watching your team get their ass kicked. How do you feel then as well? Yeah. That's a great point, actually. That's all I'm saying. That's that's my only point. I think so, just his also his reputation is squeaky clean image. He's never done that. He's, I, not I like a, that. he's not a previous, you know, troublemaker. <laughs> so I think that obviously helped the decision as well. Because, yeah. Lou, you're on the side of don't suspend him during the playoffs, right? Yeah, I think, listen, 100K is, is plenty. I think that's, we haven't seen a fine that large for that type of act ever in the history of the game. So we've seen suspensions. We've seen suspensions for less, I'll be fair. I just think, I just feel like right now, the momentum is going the league's way. Nobody's really having, the fan base, they're, really, they're not having big complaints about what's going on with, when it comes to referees and suspensions and everything. Keep the momentum going, keep the fans happy. I think this was appropriate Lou, for what's going on. On the flip on. side, we've also never seen a heat pack thrown out in the middle of a play either. And so we've also not seen is, the amount of money awesome. these guys are making. Yeah. This is awesome. You're seeing guys yeah, making 40 what million. So what's 100 grand? Yeah, so 100,000, it, it sounds yeah. like it hurts for us like not making that money anymore, but yeah. I don't know. I just feel like, you know, you, you got to make it. Th th like we said, we've never seen it, so make sure it doesn't happen again. I, I get it. It, it, that, it. We know that was going right at Tony Brothers. <laughs> we, <Yeah>. we know <laughs> that. Come on now, you know that, but like you, 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 you know, hey, Vince, you had too much emotion. You know he threw a short. You know he threw a short on purpose. He didn't really want that contact for real. He know what that looked like. All right, Vince, he didn't want that contact Vince, for real. Vince, let me ask you this: for still, if that was Draymond that threw that what, five game it, suspension, it, you, done you for know ten it. games, you know it. That's, ten that's games. what I'm saying. So that's, Damn. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. So that's, that's, he's a repeat know, offender. We're at the big picture. We know that. He's so got so prior. Like, he's if, got prior. He's got prior. If it goes. Hey, hear me out. If it goes baseline, you throw it, it slides baseline, barely on the court. Ooh, that was at the, bo the, 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 the box. Like, that is on the court. That's, that's my whole thing. We're talking about where the distance he threw it from. He didn't throw it from the middle of the bench. He threw it from the last seat yeah. in the back of the bench <laughs> to the court on the box he really in did. the paint, just about. But so isn't it funny, though? If it was Pat so, Bev or Jay Wall, we'd be like, damn, anybody, he's, he's a gangster. If it was Jamal free. Murray, we're like, oh, he's just throwing a tantrum. He's just <laughs> having a bad <laughs> yeah, day. Yeah, he'll be fine. But isn't the punishment, the idea of punishment for uh, what could have been, too, like worst case scenario? Like, he got lucky. Because it could have hurt yeah, his imagine teammates. If, imagine if Towns fell down and yeah. rolled his ankle and was out next game. Like, that's all 
I'm saying. And I love Jamal Murray, and I think he's a he's a dog, and I I love what he's bringing to the game, and, and we, they need him regardless of them, you know, in the situation they are. But at the same time, we have to we have to you know understand we we make those kind of mistakes. We have to you know pay our dues. Yeah. Uh, speaking of dogs, huh, segue. Jalen Brunson uh, taking New York by storm, just uh, crushing. I don't even know how else to say it. But let's let's play the what if game. If the Knicks were to make it to the finals, and it's all very much a part of Jalen Brunson's uh, repertoire at this point, <clears throat> would you consider him the greatest Nick of all time? Oh. That's I know. I know. It's a big what It's all hypothetical. I, I said yesterday, yeah, 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 yeah. still a lot of work to be done. ain't getting past the Celtics, it's, so it's and, all hypothetical. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, Things happen. No. D things do, do happen, and I mean, his... his I, I, I think there's still work to be done. Like Lou said, I agree. But I, I think you throw his name, his, he climbs the ladder. And, you know, it's, you know, you look at, like some people say about Kawhi, he did what he needed to do. Mm -hmm. I think if he gets it done in New York, he wins a championship. Yeah. I mean. Ooh, that, that changes things. Legend. You know, <laughs> uh, because he'll still be there. That's what, what I'm saying. He wins a championship and he'll still be there to, to continue that legacy, but let, I, I, I say this, and I've said this about current players, let's let them finish their story and then revisit this. Yeah, yep. let them cook, Yeah, if you will. Um, yeah. Or simmer. The, the simmer, or simmer. <laughs> yeah, I, I marinate, whatever. The minutes thing. Uh, Josh Hart, obviously, we know is leading that cause, not ever taking any breaks at all. And look, we keep saying how sustainable is it? But they're also losing dudes to injury as we have these conversations. So what is your take kind of on, on their situation as it stands now? So I'm going to go back to one thing I said prior, uh, months and months ago, I've always said this about coaches not using their bench during the season for situations like this. And what I mean is, you know, you're losing guys, you look down your bench, you don't feel comfortable playing guys any type of minutes because you didn't use them in the regular season. So I feel like it's important in blowout games or in just in, in some games, you got to give these guys situation. You know, I don't like when you're up 30 going into the fourth, but you play your, your rotation guys until three, four minutes into the game when you're still up 25, <laughs> when now these guys can use those valuable minutes for times like this. Now, with days in between, obviously, you know, the technology, it's important for... Uh, Josh and all the guys who are playing big minutes to take care of their body, uh, you know, cryo, hyperbaric, chip, whatever it is, you got to do what you got to do because obviously you need it and you're in this situation like that. So, that, I, I mean, that's a typical Tim Tib uh, uh, Tibbs thing. He's going to ride his guys and uh, till, till they can't anymore and play big minutes. Okay, but VC, you played 48 plus minutes 14 times, and in 2001 you played 63 minutes, and you 60, didn't have no cryo that, yeah. chamber Ooh. back then. So, no, what the hell did you do? What's that about? That's, uh, just, but that's just a cold listen, tub. <laughs> that's true. And stretch it. And hey, what did the next game look like? Because, you know, we're not talking about, uh, you know, we're talking about playoffs in regular season. So if we had a back to back, it was no chance I played well. 63? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. it was a double or uh, it was a double or triple overtime against uh, Minnesota. Maybe? What year was that? Kings. King? Oh, Kings. Kings. That's what it was. There you go. That's too. That's too many. That that's... was. That was. I know. Uh, JYD was on that team. We had just got him. Oh uh, three, maybe. Uh, oh. Oh one. Oh three. Yeah. It was. By close. the way, for the record, the next game you played thirty-two minutes and had nineteen points. Wow. I mean. Damn near hundred minutes in two games. Half man, half amazing. They say. Huh? Well done, Jeez. sir. Um, nineteen. <laughs> and they say. And they say NBA players are soft. Well, <laughs> A lot DC of back start hurting thinking about it. Anthony Edwards, by the way, we uh, you know we love Monster. lists. We love saying who's the best, who's what. Right now in these playoffs, would you have him where as far as best players left? One A, yeah. uh, I think he, he's right there with Jalen Brunson. I think he's you know they're, they're playing the best basketball uh, in the playoffs right now, hands down. I, I love what he brings to the table. I love how he's handling hand, handling himself. Uh, he's a Hold leader. On, VC. He's a score. Uh oh. You know Lou's gonna Whoa. say SGA. Uh, Lou's got gonna... something. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm running down the wrestling ramp. <laughs> Slide in the okay. ring. SGA. And I'm gonna sit SGA back. SGA hadn't lost a playoff game yet. <laughs> hey, SGA <laughs> hadn't lost a playoff game yet, brother. Correct. We gotta throw SGA no. in that conversation. No. He hadn't okay. lost yet. Done. That's fair. And I, I, I'm, his, I'm, there's I'm, your third one. So I think those three guys are playing. 
some of the best basketball right now, and it's undeniable. It's not even a question. And you're right, Lou. Uh, SGA is is the other guy uh, I would add on to that for sure. What a great place to be with these three guys as sort of the face of what it's we're watching. I, I love it. Um, Ants obviously getting all the MJ expectations and the comparisons. They're even doing that, the split screen with his face. And, you know, I don't know that he even needs <laughs> advice. I'll be honest with you. He seems to be very much in control. But if you had to give him some advice about expectations, what would you say? Be yourself and keep doing what you're doing. Don't read your, your press clippings. And that sounds like, you know, it's an old, uh, uh, old saying that was said to me. It's like, just... Keep being you. Don't don't change it. Like uh, it's 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 like it's easy to look at social media and and read what's said about you, good and bad. But like, man, right now the, the work is, is is done, and he's just showing us what he's done and who he is. So, I mean, I I tell him right now, don't change the thing. You know, be you. Be he done right though. He did right. He came out and said, stop the comparisons. Just <laughs> allow me to be myself. I love it. Because the minute I don't live up to the uh, the comparisons that y'all put on to me. Even though I'm going to be a great player, y'all going to say I'm falling short because you're comparing me to such a monumental player. So he's already he's, he's already said what he needs to yeah, say about it. it. He's a yeah, wise guy it. for that And that's, that's smart to me, getting in front of that now, you know, where he doesn't have to deal with that headache later. Like, right, let, let me build my own yeah. legacy and my own path for the next guy to be compared to me doing it his way. And I love it. We're in good hands. Yeah. That's it. That's the show, Vince. We made it to the end of this bad boy. You were here with us to get to all the way to the end of this show for uh, for all of us. I'd like to say goodbye. Oh, Enjoy the game. Appreciate tonight. it, BC. I'll Bye. see you in Tahoe. I'll have that name for Gigi you Jackson time. tomorrow. God, you live the life, you two. Gigi Jackson tomorrow? Yeah. Run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back.